Hi guys! Please excuse the no makeup look tonight. It's already late. It's like 1am I think and I just don't feel like throwing makeup on this late at night to turn around and take it right back off. So, sorry. But I did get to go to that amazing Dollar Tree again today. May have went a little bit overboard, but I didn't mean to. I got some stuff for Alden. I got just a bunch of stuff. Um, some stuff for Alden. Um, some stuff that my store just didn't have. I mean, my store has none of this anyway. None of my stores do. Um, so let's just dig right in instead of explaining everything. I have Pretty Little Liars paused back there because I'm not trying to miss out. I've seen the show multiple times through, but I'm currently, as you guys saw in my vlog, on season three. Um, almost to season four. And I'm just, I'm excited. Okay, so this stuff, well, these two things I'm going to give him before Christmas. Um, just to do for fun. So this is just a uh, Christmas countdown coloring book. And then this one is a sticker tivity funny face book. So you have like a bunch of different pictures like this. This one has Santa Claus and then there's like a gingerbread man and some snowmen in here. Uh, yeah. And you put stickers on them to make silly faces. So I just thought that would be fun. So these I will give him not as Christmas gifts. These books I thought would be good for Christmas. Um, this one, it was so cute and I saw it last minute. It was actually where the coloring books were. So when I first looked up and saw it, I thought it was a coloring book. I'm glad I decided to actually look at it. It's called The Lost Letter to Santa and it looks so cute. It has this adorable little squirrel on it and chipmunk. And then you get 30 stickers and a postcard and a recipe in here. So here's the little stickers in the back. And then here's the postcard. It says, Dear Santa. And you can mail it to Santa. And then you have a recipe up top for hot chocolate. And it just, it looks so adorable. I don't know, this one... I might give to him before Christmas so we can read it up until Christmas. I don't know, because it is a Christmassy book. These were really cute as well. It's a Peter Rabbit book, My Father's Flying Machine, and he really likes Peter Rabbit. And I grew up loving Peter Rabbit as well. So I got him this one. This is one of those ready-to-read books, level one. It's a PJ Masks Super Cat Speed book. I don't think he watches PJ Masks, but he knows who they are. Maybe he sees a little bit on um, YouTube, but I got him that one. I thought this one might be able to fit in his stocking. And then this one is a DC Super Friends X-Ray Vision book. And so it has my fiance's favorite and my favorite, Batman and Superman. And it comes with these little glasses because it has pages that you look through the little glass thing on here and see the hidden message or something. And then this one just seemed really cute. Little Bear Won't Sleep. And that reminds me of Alden. I wonder if Little Bear is Alden. So, I'm just really, really cute little books. And my stores, just they don't have a good selection of books. And this store, everything's actually nicely put away. And, like, my stores look just ransacked and dirty and nothing's in the right place and the books are all over the place and it's a hot mess. So I really enjoy going to this nice Dollar Tree. I also got him this because I just thought he'd have a ball with it. I'm going to stick it in a stocking. It's a giant pen with Mickey Mouse on it. I mean, who wouldn't want to write with a giant pen? So, yeah. And then... Oh, goodness. What else did I get? So I didn't think I had this one, but apparently I do because I saw it a little bit ago. But I picked up this Peace on Earth sign. So now I have two, and I haven't... I'll craft them in some way and show you guys, or maybe we'll do it together. I don't know. But yeah, I have two of these now because I saw it and was like, oh, I don't have that one. Yes, I do. 
This I got because I do have a really nice cutting board I got from my grandma's house. It's a really nice wooden one and it has these um, like bars on the bottom of it so you can actually put it across your sink and it'll sit there. Um, I just I have to clean it. It is dusty but it's, it's also really big and bulky so when I don't feel like using something like that I just picked up this super slim smaller cutting board just to have one that I can have out more often. These were really cute and we don't have a whole lot of magnets for our fridge. So I got these, you get, does it say how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like ten, uh, not stickers, magnets. They're all Christmassy. So one says Jingle Bells, Merry and Bright, Holly Jolly, Noel, Happy Holiday, Merry Christmas, Let It Snow. And that's what they look like. So freaking cute. And then I got these for my little Christmas village because underneath the houses or the buildings, there's a hole where you could put a tea light. Well, not a, a real tea light, but a fake tea light. So I got these little LED tea light candles. Um, I got the smaller ones because I didn't know if the bigger regular size ones would fit. So I just got two of these. I was going to get three because I have three buildings, but I'm just going to put these two on the outer buildings. I put one back to be good, even though I still went overboard. What's one more dollar? I don't know. I put a few things back, actually. These I got just to put in his stocking as well. It's Mickey Mouse Numbers and Counting. It's a learning game cards. I don't know. I told you guys about oh and I did not film in there I thought about it the whole way there and once I got there because it was a Saturday more people were in there than there were on Wednesday so I didn't end up filming plus I was waiting for my mom to call me back while I was there so anyway I did get two of these little seat cushions for the kitchen chairs I just went with these because I thought they were cute has the red truck it says dashing through the snow so and they, I mean, they're not super padded, but it's better than sitting on just the wooden chair, you know. So I did pick up two of these. And I showed you guys in a Dollar Tree haul a little while back a little mat that you put at your door or wherever you want that said home. I really like it, but it slides around super easily. It doesn't have any grippage on it. This one I saw, and when I felt the bottom of it, like, it actually stays in place um, on the floor. Sorry, I was making sure that my TV doesn't turn off, so I was trying to push a button. Anyway, so I got this. It is a lot bigger as well, which I like. Um, of course it's Christmassy. I didn't even care if it was Christmassy or not. I just didn't see big floor mats like this before, so I went ahead and grabbed this. So it just says Merry Christmas, but this actually like is like rubberized on the bottom. So it's not sliding out from under you on the floor. That little one, the home, is really cute, but it's always like moving around super quickly, quickly, easily. It's late. I'm tired. Okay. Let's go with this bag, I guess. I did pick up one of these containers. Um, they had all different kinds, um, different colors. There was a really pretty blue one. I think it had snowflakes on it. There was a green one. I went with the red, and it just has a bunch of different little sayings on it. And, I mean, we can use this for anything, but of course I was thinking of if I did make a bunch of cookies and I went somewhere, I could take them in this. Or leftovers, whatever. And then I did pick up this bag of holiday pretzel balls. So they're chocolate balls with crunchy pretzel pieces. I've never heard of this, and I just thought it sounded really good. And then I also got this bag of peppermint patties. And I did pick up two boxes of Benadryl because I just, I use it so often, whether my eyes are itching or I need it to help me sleep. Um, okay, so all of this is wrapped up. 
you know what? I might hang on to this newspaper, though, because it could come in handy when I'm crafting. But I'll get both of these out at the same time. So these, I couldn't decide on which one I liked more. So I got both. I mean, they were a dollar, so it's not that big of a deal. But this is the first one I picked up. It's a mug. It says Baking Spirits Bright with a little gingerbread man. And I just thought it was really, really cute. And it's not oversized, but I don't know. It feels a little bit bigger than regular size coffee mugs. And then this one I just freaking love. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas with the red truck. And I like that it's printed on both sides and not just one side. So I got that. And then... I didn't see more of those little ceramic plates that I got. I'm sure that they, they were there somewhere, but I tried to go down the other aisles that I didn't get a chance to go down. But I saw this one on an end cap, and it says, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, so it matches this cup. So now I have two small Christmassy ceramic plates, and I was so excited when I found these because my store did not have these. My store, now you guys saw I picked up two plastic marble uh, printed bowls. We didn't have, and the plates, we did have some marble plates. Of course, they were plastic, but they looked kind of blurry. It wasn't a really good marble pattern. I don't know if that makes sense, but I saw these, and they're ceramic. And they just, they look really nice. So I did get two of the marble ceramic plates. They did have the plastic bowls, which I already had. I think they did have the ceramic bowls as well, but again, I didn't want to get too much tonight, so I just picked up two of the ceramic marble plates. They're by Royal Norfolk. It is microwave and dishwasher, dishwasher safe, which I appreciate, um, but they were just so pretty. So now I've got six plates from the dollar store. Um, maybe next I will get a couple more bowls, but so now I have two marble printed plates and then two sets of white plates. One of, one is squared and one is round. Um, and I actually really enjoy using them. Um, I see no issue in getting expensive dishes when you can get stuff so cheap because again if something breaks I don't have to worry like oh my god that was so much money like it was a dollar I can go back to the dollar store and get more and I do want to get more I actually wouldn't mind getting a couple more of these ceramic marble plates just because they are so pretty to me um but I want to get a couple more of the squared plates because those are my favorite we actually haven't used the round ones yet because I love the the squared ones but we use the bowls all the time. I love them. I love them. You guys are moving or getting a place. Then look into freaking dishes at Dollar Tree. I know it sounds weird. But they're cute. And I mean, I think they look nice. And they're a dollar. You just you can't go wrong. And if you're shopping on a budget. Like I usually am, you know. I may go crazy at dollar store and get a lot of at the dollar store and get a lot of stuff, but I feel like I, I get a lot for my money, and I'm always happy when I leave there. So, okay, now this is stuff I actually like went for because I did need some stuff. Um, I did need some more paper plates, and I was thinking of getting a big pack next time I go to Target. But typically, I'm not thinking about them, so they're not ever on my list. So when I am at Target. I don't remember to grab paper plates. So I just got two 18 count packs of Christmassy ones from there. So I got Santa Claus. I was getting three packs originally. I had the snowmen, the snowflakes, and Santa Claus, but I put the snowmen back. Again, I put a lot of stuff back. I also got this pack of toothpicks because my fiance is always like, where's the toothpicks? And I'm like, um, <laughs> putting it on my list right now. I also just picked up a two-pack of toothbrushes just to have a couple extras on hand. My stores don't have this. Story of my life. None of this is at my stores, but a freaking garlic press. I mean, who knows if it's any good because 
it's a dollar, but at the same time it was a dollar, so I'm going to try it. Um, I don't typically buy cloves of garlic because I always use minced garlic. It's just easier, but I don't mind using fresh cloves of garlic, and this would make things so much easier, so I definitely want to try that out soon. And I love garlic more than any other seasoning or flavor that you could ever get. Um, I did also get this little bag of flour. I do have some flour, but I do want to make some homemade cookies, and I didn't want to run out of anything. So, um, I, I did need, I went because I needed baking powder and vanilla. So I got those, and I got the flour, baking soda, and brown sugar even though I have these three things because I don't have a whole lot and I'm just afraid that I don't know I just I don't want to run out in the middle of trying to bake I mean it's the holiday season you know I feel like we might be baking cookies quite a lot yes we buy pre-made cookie dough all the time um but I just want to get into the spirit and make homemade stuff so this stuff was a necessity I would rather get a bag of flour from Target or something because, you know, it is a lot bigger, but right now I don't even care. I have it, so it's all good. Alright, this is the last bag. So I did get this two pack of sponges. It has a little scrubby side on the back so you can really scrub the stuff off your dishes. Give me just one second. Alright. Um, I got two of these big plastic ornaments because I wanted to make kind of a memorial ornament um, for myself of my dad. And I also, I actually already made one of them a little bit ago. It's for my sister. Um, she lost her dog last night. It was either like sometime last night or very, very early this morning. Um, she had this dog. For a long time. I don't even know how many years. It's a very long time. She was obsessed with this dog. Like she loved him like he was one of her children. Um, he was a Pom Pomeranian. His name was Snuffy. She named him after Snuffleupagus on um, Sesame Street. Don't ask me why. Um, so of course we called him Snuffy. And uh, I don't really want to show you this because I'm not super proud of this craft. It looked much better in my head than it did when I made it. But okay, so it did look good originally. I bought a white metallic marker from Dollar Tree as well, which I don't have to show you right now. It's somewhere around here. But anyway, I wrote, you know, Snuffy on both sides of the ornament in the white, and I put little footprints which don't look that good, paw prints. Anyway, um, but then I did add, like, some fake snow into it, so the snow kind of was behind the white of his name, so then I had to go over the white with black paint just so it showed up a little better, and I put a little picture of Snuffy in there. Um, I, okay, just don't judge me. It doesn't look the best, but I don't have a Cricut or anything, so I couldn't just, like, print his name off in vinyl and put it on there like everybody else does. But anyway, so there's his name on the back. And then the front does not look as good. I am very, very bad when it comes to, first of all, writing on a curved surface. And then going over it, paint. I'm not good with writing with paint brushes as it is. So please don't judge how horrible it looks. But there's a little picture of him in there. Again, I just put some fake snow. I didn't know what else to do. Um, so, eh, it doesn't look that good, but I'm hoping, you know, my sister appreciates it. Because she, she's devastated, um, to say the least. I mean, who wouldn't be losing a pet? Especially a pet you've had for a very long time and who's who's been there with you through so much that's happened in your life, you know? So... Anyway, and I mean, that's like, she came home to work and found him like that. So I couldn't imagine. 
Um, I did also pick up a three pack of ramekins because anytime Alden has chicken nuggets and fries, um, I like to put ketchup in these rather than right on the plate. That way his food's not just like being shoved into the ketchup. Grosses me out. I don't think it grosses him out. I also grabbed these tongs because um, I realize it's an essential that I don't have because anytime um, I make wings for my fiance, it's so much easier to either take them out of whatever I cook them in um, and put them on a plate or flip them. I don't know. I just, I needed tongs. I didn't realize how much I needed them until my grandma's tongs got taken to her from her old house and I didn't have them there to use anymore. It was just like a weird thing. So I realized I really needed tongs. Um, I also really needed super glue because certain things break that nail glue just can't fix because I've tried. <laughs> So I just got this fix-all adhesive. I was going to get a small thing, a little bitty thing of super glue, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that big one because, I mean, I'm just going to keep it far away from Alden, that's for sure. Oh, and they had these really cute magnets, like chip clip magnets, and these say different things than the ones I got from my dollar store. So there's one that says, life is sweet, live, love, eat, and love at first bite. And you can never have too many clips because, I mean, if you eat chips like we do, you need a lot of clips. Um, I also got this personal care shave gel. It says it's moisturizing with vitamin E and aloe vera and it's berry burst. And this is very similar to, I don't know if it's Suave that comes in a can from the store. I don't remember the brand, but I used to buy it all the time. It was pink like this and it was berry scented. Let me see if it smells like that to me. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. It does smell like berry, berry uh, scented, but wet area to be shaved. Okay. But I don't know. I just, I grabbed it because I saw it and I don't typically buy shaving cream for myself anymore just because it's not a necessity and I don't know it's four or five dollars at Target when I mean I saw this for a dollar so I grabbed it I don't know um I did have a big thing of this which I should still have somewhere but I don't know where it is so I did pick up a little thing of basil leaves because there is this recipe that I really like to make it's called bruschetta bread so you basically, I like to buy like a French loaf, um, like one of those long like baguettes, I don't know, and you, you know, slice it into like thick little slices and you chop up some tomatoes. Um, you can, I mean, I used to use fresh basil, but then I realized that they made this. <laughs> it's just so much easier. I sprinkle some of this into it. I put a little garlic salt in there, but what you do is you oh and you you put some oil in it and you mix all of that together and on the bread you rub butter and then you take like a fresh clove of garlic but again I've just last several times I've made it I used garlic salt because it's easier and then you put it in a pan basically you just toast the bread and then you top it with the tomato basil topping it is so freaking good and it's so easy to make. Um, I, I didn't need this, but I, it was really cute. So I grabbed it. Um, but I mean, who can't use winter hats? And it was just, it was gray and white and adorable. So I got it. Okay. Um, ooh, and this time I looked all over the last time. They must have just put these out within the last few days of me being there. So I got a pack of regular candy canes because last time they only had the Kool-Aid ones. I, I almost got two packs and I was like, how many do I really need for my tree? I mean, I'm sure I might eat one or two, but I'm, I'm about to say what I'm about to say and then I'm gonna show you this so it might not make sense, but I'm not a huge peppermint eater. <laughs> I like peppermint and I like peppermint gum. This looked really good though, so I will definitely give this a try, but it's a peppermint bark bar, but it's white chocolate 
and peppermint. Um, I don't know. I'm a sucker for white chocolate, though. And this just, it sounded good. And I wonder if it would taste good cold. That sounds weird, but I mean, anybody that buys Thin Mints, if you don't keep them in the freezer, you're doing it wrong. So I feel like, I don't know, maybe this would taste good cold. But sometimes I am in the mood for, like, you know, something with a kick. And peppermint's like a kick to me, so. All right. So one of my last hauls, I showed you guys I got this room spray. Um, but I don't really like it. It doesn't smell that good to me. It's just, you know, when you're wearing a mask in the store, you can't really test out the scents as much as you would want to. Um, I almost bought a pumpkin scented one, but I was like, it's weird to just spray your room with pumpkin spray. So I got a Hawaiian breeze or something, but I don't really like it. This one I, I really like. It's apple cinnamon. And to me, it just smells really good. Like you can't go wrong with the scent. So I might end up throwing the other one away. Cause I really, I'm just not a fan of how it smells. I think it's, be and it sounds weird, I'm not like a snob in this way, but I feel like it's because it is an off-brand. Something's off with the Hawaiian one, because my aunt brought a Hawaiian one to my grandma's house when we were cleaning it out. That one smelled good, and it was like Febreze, so Febreze always smells good. But the one I got from the dollar store, I just didn't like. This, I had an idea of like why I was getting these, now I can't remember what it was, but it's always good to have on hand. But they're craft clamps and they're heavy duty and they're pink how cute are these and you get so many you get six so if you're crafting something and you really need to like hold something together while it's gluing or whatever perfect okay now i was gonna originally get one of those plastic it's i guess like a tumbler it's a bigger size cup though but it doesn't come with a straw it has that like thing that you like you know push up you could take a drink and then close it again but I did test it out to see if a straw fits in there, and it does. But I ended up getting this cup with a straw instead. Because, I don't know, I didn't really like the designs of the ones of the taller cups. Um, I was going to get one, I think it's, oh, it said like, uh, eat, sleep, be merry, or something. But they're just not super cute. Um, and the other one was like, let it snow, and it was kind of a holographic looking one. Um, I like the idea of them. I don't know. I know. It's just a cup. It doesn't have to look perfect. But this one is really cute. And really the whole purpose of me getting the bigger cup is for when I make smoothies. Um, because when I make smoothies, I tend to make, it makes a lot. Um, so, man, did it turn off on me? I was trying to like. There we go. Get it to not do that. Um, anyway, the whole purpose of getting a bigger cup was because when I make smoothies, it makes a lot. So I thought maybe I could get the bigger cup and pour all of it into the cup at once. Whatever. It's not even that much bigger than these cups with a straw. It's literally maybe like this much bigger. Anyway, I got this one because it was really cute. And it's just, it says gnome for the holidays. It's clear and sparkly. It has the gnomes. So I took the straw out of here to test it in the bigger cup. And it worked. It fit in the little slot. But I just wasn't super impressed with the designs of those. They were all Christmas related um, or winter related. But they weren't over the top cute. Like if they would have had a big one with this design on it, I would have gotten it. But anyway, so yeah, I did get a lot today. Didn't plan on it. Um, I just, anytime I go to Dollar Tree, it, I just, I go crazy. And I don't mean to. But they just have so much good stuff. And like I said, my store doesn't have half of what this store has. So I just got so excited and just like, was like, I'm getting all of this. And... I know that's bad, but, and what's funny is my fiancé does not know, um, because he actually kept Alden for me today while I went out to my mom's. Before we got to my mom's, I stopped at the dollar store because she was like, well, stop beforehand that way. Um, you know, we were going to get her out of the uh, house, but she didn't want to sit in the car, but she also didn't want to go in the store. So I just stopped beforehand so I didn't have to feel rushed with her sitting outside. 
yada 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 and we couldn't even get her out of the house today because it was raining so bad and but anyway so uh I didn't want my fiance to know that I got all of this at Dollar Tree so I found a box at my grandma's that was empty I put like the majority of my bags in the box sealed the box <laughs> And when my fiance said, what's this box? I said, oh, it was stuff that got jumbled up with grandma's, but it was really mine, so I'm just bringing it home. So he only saw, like, one bag and this container. Oh, and I also, I, not, not here to show you because I forgot to bring it in here. <laughs> not exciting. I did buy a broom and a dustpan because that's one thing we were lacking at this house um, and it's been driving me crazy because you know if we drop stuff like yeah pick it up but dust and random crap like you know what I mean like it's just it's been adding up and I haven't been able to sweep because I haven't had a broom here and I didn't think to take a broom from my grandma's old house that she wasn't taking so anyway I did get that so he saw that um, and then I hid my box until, you know, he was busy doing something else or sleeping and then I dug it out so I could show you guys. So yeah, I'm excited. I just, I freaking love Dollar Tree. I can't help it. I'm obsessed. I'm addicted. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to go again. I mean, my mom, I think is only here uh, through next week and then she's going back up to Michigan. I mean, I hate to say I might go back next week while I can but you know maybe um but see if I do go again it will be for a purpose it will be strictly if I get anything for myself I will admit it might be some more DIY ornaments I was gonna get smaller ones you get two for one um with the smaller ones the bigger ones like that you only get one you know single and, um, uh, but I might get more of those just to do different things with. Um, and I like that they're plastic because before I bought, like, a six-pack from Michaels many, many years ago to DIY. But they were glass, so I was always afraid of them breaking. These are perfect, especially since I have a kid now. If they fall off the tree, I don't gotta worry about it. So, anyway, um, I want to go to get stocking stuffers for... Alden and my fiance. Not gonna lie, myself as well. And I say that because, you know, my fi I love my fiance. I do. But, you know, I always have to tell him, like, okay, if you're gonna get me a present, this is what I want. Um, and sometimes I'm even the one that orders my present for myself. Um, I do try to be good though, and I'll either give it to my fiance and just say, don't give it to me till Christmas. Or I will wrap it up and have it under the tree just so that, you know, Alden can see, like, everybody gets something, not just him. Um, and I don't even know what the heck to get my fiancé now because I was going to get him shoes and then he got shoes the other day. So now I can't get him shoes. Ugh. Anyway, men are just... <sighs> so now I gotta think of what to get my fiancé for his stocking. <laughs> I've got some ideas, though. Um, Alden, super easy. But... Instead of, you know, paying 4 and $5 for small items, I mean, Alden's happy with stuff from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to get him stuff I know he likes from there. Keep it simple. Keep it at a minimum price range type of thing. And again, maybe get some more candy that I can like. Because growing up, our candies were filled with... Our candies? Our stockings were filled with candy and smaller gifts. So that's what I plan to do with him. But I want to get candy. I know I don't think Alden will like the peppermint patties or the pretzel chocolate things. So I might get some more like Reese's peanut butter cups. His favorite candy is Twix. So I might get a bag of that from, I think Dollar Tree has that in the main candy aisle. Like small bags with little bitty uh, candies in them. I'll have to check that out. But I might get him like Twix. My, my parents used to do like Rolos and... Uh, the mini Reese's peanut butter cups. And I just, that's like, I just, I miss that. And we used to put like a doll sock, a little bitty doll sock. We would hang it on our little, not mantle, but um, we used to have one of those, what's it called? Nativity sets, scenes. And we would put the sock on that and it was for Jesus. And Santa would leave a little piece of like a little bitty Snickers or something in that sock and 
I was always the one that got to eat Jesus's candy for him. Um, I don't know. It was just something my parents always did, and I'll always remember that. And I'm about to get teary eyed. Um, cause that's back when my parents were still together too. I just things I remember, and I was so young. I must have been like four or five, like Alden's age when they did that. Um, anyway, good times, and I just I don't have like a nativity scene or anything like that to kind of do that with Alden. But if they do have little mini stockings, maybe I can get one and, and we can put something in there for Jesus and, you know, I don't know. Let Alden have it. I don't know. I'm just thinking now and I'm rambling. So I'm going to go. I'm going to put all this crap away. Enjoy some more Pretty Little Liars and take my butt to bed because it's much later than I wanted to go to bed. I know that sounds crazy for me, but I've been trying to go to bed earlier. It's just hard when... You know, I, I want to do videos and then I just, it gets so much later in the day and I, once my mom is back in Michigan, I'll be able to do videos much easier because I'm not going to be going back and forth every day, every other day, whatever. So, um, I will get better, I promise, but I did want to go ahead and show you guys what I got today because I was so excited. Um, I feel like I, I keep scoring at that store and... I don't know. I just want to share it with you guys. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys again very soon. And um, yeah, bye.